review focused on the second phase of whānau order, but was not aimed at assessing the performance of commissioning agencies, whānau currently in the system, or historic financial arrangements or practice. The specific terms of reference were two. Assess the ability of the whānau order commissioning approach to affect sustainable change in the well-being and development of whānau. To explore the extent to which the whānau order service delivery model and commissioning approach is accountable and transparent in the achievement of outcomes for whānau. And to scope the applicability of a whānau-centred approach as a model for improving outcomes for whānau across government with an emphasis on the social sector. The review panel was given six months to conduct the review, beginning in April 2018 and concluding in November with the delivery of their report. During the engagement phase of the review, the panel met with 184 whānau, 74 partners and providers, 104 navigators, 19 whānau entities and 16 government agencies at 19 locations across the country. The panel also received 277 public submissions. Of those submissions, 139 came from whānau involved in whānau order, 54 from whānau not involved, and 84 from entities and organisations with an interest in whānau. From a Tapuni Kōkiri point of view, the most compelling finding of the report is its affirmation of the whānau order approach as an approach that works. The whānau order commissioning model and the whānau centred approach results in positive, sustainable change in the lives of whānau. Furthermore, whānau order meets its accountability requirements and is transparent. This is a powerful finding, which therefore creates the platform for other findings regarding greater investment from government and increased collaboration across agencies to expand its implementation. Te Puni Kōkiri will work with other agencies in the social sector to assess further the policy implications of these findings and will report back to Cabinet later this year. Additionally, there are a number of findings regarding suggested improvements which Te Puni Kōkiri is already addressing. For instance, the development of the whānau ora story and promotional initiatives is already underway and Te Puni Kōkiri will also hold a summit in March to share information and learnings from its whānau development work aimed at increasing the adoption of whānau-centred approaches. The two findings which propose exploration of localised commissioning approaches and addressing strategic governance matters, including the needs of Pacifica, do require more scoping. More importantly, however, these aspects of the report require wider discussion with a range of groups across the whānau order system. The Minister will report back to Cabinet on these two areas later this year. To that end, a whānau order reference group will be established to provide the Minister with independent advice on the operations of whānau order and the possible implications of proposed change. In the meantime, current arrangements for whānau order, that is, our contractual commitments with the commissioning agencies and the delivery of whānau order services, remain. You can read the review report on our website www.tpk.govt.nz.